back to the happy oyster and today I'm gonna update you on my hermit crabs because recently the very first hermit crab I ever got um Herman passed away and I'm not sure exactly why he passed away okay here's the story um I hadn't seen Herman in a while and I went and found him and I dug him up and I just check on him and I realized ooh, he's molting because half of his exoskeleton was hanging out of his shell and I could see his fresh body a little bit kind of moving around in the shell behind the exoskeleton. So I was like, ooh, he's molting. So I put him back in the dirt and I left him there for a few more days thinking, ooh, I just need to leave him alone and I need to let him molt so that he doesn't get stressed out and die. So I just left him there and then about a week after that happened, I dug him up again quietly and just being gentle and stuff, trying to check on him just to make sure he's okay and he's still in the process of molting. And then I realized there was something wrong because that exoskeleton that was hanging out of his shell before uh, wasn't there anymore. And he was stiff in his shell, but he did kind of stink. And I brought him to my mom and I was like, I think Herman's dead. So, and then she said, put him back, just bury him again and we'll wait a few more days and then you can dig him up and check on him once more. So I did what she said and I put him back in the dirt hoping he was just molting again and that was just the process and then I dug him up after a few days and I realized he was actually dead. He smelled like fish and he was actually hanging out of a shell and his entire body was just stuck together and mushed up and I was just like it was sad and depressing and I just felt upset but you eventually have to let go. He could have just died of old age because like I said in one of my other videos uh, bef that I made before this one was that hermit crabs can only will live up to like 30 years in their natural environment in the wild but in captivity sadly they only live up to one or two years and what shocked me was that I got Herman like two years ago and he lived so long he, he's the longest living hermit crab I've ever had so yeah it's it's really sad um, and I did cry, and I was just pretty upset all of that day. But I buried him in my backyard, right outside my window. So I can look out my window and I can see where we buried him. This is where we buried him, right here, right outside my window. And um, I found a rock, kind of like that one. And I wrote, I love you, Herman. Rest in peace. And then we buried him right here. So yeah, that is the grave for Herman. That's very sad, but the good thing is, I just found out that Iris, my newest hermit crab, is molting. But she's not molting underneath the substrate. She's molting on top of it. So I had to separate her from this tank and put her in another tank. So here's the mini tank I have her isolated in. It's just, a, it's just a critter carrier and I took one of the heating pads from the larger tank and I put it on the critter carrier and I have it plugged in back there. I just took some substrate from the larger tank and I put it in the critter carrier with some shell options. In there. Okay, so now I'm going to open it and show you can't see great and I don't want to touch her because she's molting but that's her right there in this shell and she's very stiff in her shell she's very stuck she's her entire body stuck together she's hanging out of the shell you can actually see her body right now I can but it's kind of hard to see her in the video but she does not smell like fish so she's molting and just have the shell options but I am very excited that she is molting because she has not molted yet in the entire time I've had her, and this is her first time. I, uh, after Herman dying, I realized that she was molting in the same day that Herman, that I found that Herman died. But after Herman dying, I was kind of scared that she was dead, and then I realized, oh, no, she is molting because she didn't smell like fish, and this is the exact same thing Herman used to do. Herman did this once. 
Herman melted on top of the substrate, and I thought he was dead, and he did not die. He did not smell like fish, he was just melting. So since I was telling you earlier that Herman had molted on top of the substrate before, um, I actually took a video of him in the process of molting, um, and I used the same critter carrier, and I basically did the same thing, except for I put a little bit of food and water in his tank too. Um, in the small tank too, so yeah, I can show you that video. So this is my hermit crab, Herman, and you can see he looks re he he looks really like dead looking. <laughs> and I thought that he was dead at first, but he was just molting. And hermit crabs normally molt underground, <clears throat> down here below the substrate but they can also molt above ground on the top of, of the dirt. And that's what he's doing. And he looks so bad, but that's, that's not even him. That's just his exoskeleton. He's inside the shell, and this is the first thing he lost. It's, it might look so gross, but it's completely natural whenever they molt. It's not actually his, it's not his actual um, pincher. This is just the exoskeleton of him. <coughs> and then this is the entire body, and he's just in there. But we had to put him in an isolation tank with a heater and some water <coughs> and some substrate. Don't eat them. Don't want to disturb him. And an extra shell, so with a top with some holes. That way he can still breathe and stuff. But... He, because if he's in the same tank with all the other hermit crabs, they tend to smell good when they're molting, and the other hermit crabs will want to pick at him and eat him. So we have to put him in a separate tank, and that's what we did. But he is almost completely done molting, and he he is looking better on the inside of his shell. I'm glad he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm so relieved, because I thought he was just going to like flat out, just like look like that for the rest of his life, and just die. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he's, thank God he's just molting. Awesome. You can actually see his new body there. That's so weird. This is weird. Continue molting, yeah. little guy. So that was the video that I took of Herman molting. Um, he molted about six months ago, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on everything that's going on with my hermit crabs right now. And I actually have another update on my turtles, but I will save that for a future video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!